What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy. Yes, we are back here with another video. Now, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, we will be talking about NBA 2K25 shooting today. People were asking Mike Wayne different questions about shooting in NBA 2K25. One of the questions they asked him was, How will hot zones affect shooting this year? And he responded to that by saying, Hot zones still give you a small boost to your shot rating as we probably already knew this but sometimes you really have to ask them because if you know 2k you know that sometimes they like to change things that we do not ask for and sometimes it ends up ruining the game or giving us a different experience now another question that they asked me they asked them what changes have been made to post defense and he responded to post phase and hooks now use a different set of contest logic than normal shots now, I don't know how true this is, you feel me? If you know 2K, you know post scores have been broken in 2K forever. When I mean forever, I mean forever. I mean back since 2K17, if that's the earliest, as I remember seeing a post score back then. And that's when they would first start popping. As y'all know, at 19, you couldn't stop them. 20, you really couldn't stop them. 21, couldn't stop them. 22, 23. Then you got drop stepping 24. Or post hooking 24 or standing dunk 24 and it really goes on and on so i would like to see how this feature will work you know the defense for posting has been crazy so i just want to see and see if it actually works this year actually now the next question they asked him was do the layup slash dunk meters have the same animation as the new jump shot meters and he answered that by saying yes yes they do and then for the last question for shooting, it's not really kind of shooting. It has to do with playmaking this one. But they asked him, can you go a little deeper on the bounce pass alley -oops? What does contextuality mean? And he said that some players were getting bounce alley -oop passes by accident. So in NBA 2K25, it'll happen regularly just by double tapping wide or triangle if the lane is clearly open and the players are in their appropriate animation or animation or just area of the floor really basically he's saying if you double type of alley-oop the bounce alley-oop it'll happen normally than it was randomly back then in 24 and i don't know why they also made it another button for self alley-oop i went over there in my last video i ain't even gonna go too deep into that but yeah y'all let me know how do y'all feel about the shooting in nba 2k25 just from the news that we are getting let me know in the comment section and also let me know how y'all feel about the real player percentage coming back in the game plus the high risk low reward debate if that is going on if people really are thinking about that some people might some people might not but if you like videos like this please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more nba 2k25 news and updates and gameplay and tutorials your boy greg go crazy do it all but yeah man that's really it for this video like i said don't forget to like comment subscribe if you are new to my channel and i'm out man peace